I am Elizabeth Briner, class of 2001. I graduated from Southern with an AS degree in allied health and pre-speech pathology. When I was partway done with school, I realized that wasn't where my passion was. Um, what I really wanted to do was feed people. So I worked in the cafeteria as a student. I worked in the bakery, um, in the cooks department, in KRs. I did all those things and that's where my heart is. So I'm currently the breakfast chef here at Southern and um, doing what I love and hopefully teaching students to do the same. So being alumni weekend and not being able to bring you guys to campus, we thought we'd bring a little bit of campus to you. And we're gonna be demonstrating today how to make our world famous alumni chicken croquettes, which are those little Christmas tree shaped turkey bites of yumminess that we serve for the fancy alumni banquet. Um, so if you want to follow along, I'll show you how to do it and you can make them at home. So we're going to start with melting some butter on the stove. I'm going to have it on medium low heat. I've already got my pan over here ready to go. And I use salted butter. If you prefer lower sodium, you can go with unsalted. It won't affect your flavor too much. This is just what I had on hand, so this is what I'm using. You need three tablespoons of butter, and we're gonna let it start to melt. We're gonna dice some onion and some celery. You don't need very much. It's a, a tablespoon of diced onion. So less than half an onion, it's not too much work. You do want it diced fairly finely so you're not biting into any big chunks of onion in your croquette. I'm also going to dice some celery here. Again, it's not very much. It's a quarter of a cup, which is about one small stalk of celery. to our pan of butter. I'm gonna saute these for a little bit, about five minutes, until the onions turn kind of clear and glassy, and the celery is nice and soft. All right, this next step is making kind of the glue that holds the croquettes together. We're gonna make a little paste or a roux out of the flour and the melted butter. So I have six tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and then I have two tablespoons of McKay's chicken-style seasoning, which Looks like this if you're looking for it in the store. I still have my heat on medium low. And I'm just stirring the flour in. We want to toast that raw flour flavor out of it. And so I let it sit on the heat again for about five minutes. This next process, we're going to pour the milk in the pan a little bit at a time. You can see I've switched to a whisk. Um, for my wooden spatula because I need to incorporate this slowly and I want to make sure there's no lumps in the flour. I have two cups of this regular 2% milk here. So when you're making this, um, I should have said this at the beginning. You need to cook a little bit of rice because that's what we're adding next. Um, ideally, you would use parboiled rice because it cooks quickly. So I have some already cooked, which is ready for our next step. That's one cup of cooked rice. And while I'm waiting for the gravy to thicken, I'm gonna go ahead and dice the Worthington chicken and Worthington smoked turkey. So I've made just a few slices of each here. This is the smoked turkey, that's the chicken. Um, you don't need it diced quite as small as the celery or the onion, but small enough so you're not overwhelmed with its flavor when you bite into a croquette. All right, gravy, let's 
good and thick here. So I'm gonna pour this on top of the veggie meat and the rice. To this mixture, I'm going to add half a cup of cornflake crumbs. If you can't find these in the store, you can use regular cornflakes, that's what these are. Um, just put them in a Ziploc bag and hit them with the rolling pin until they get nice and powdery. so that the flavors can blend, and then it'll be easier to scoop and shape. So now we have our chilled filling. You can see it firmed up quite a bit. Uh, it'll be much easier to shape today. In this dish, I have one egg and one tablespoon of water, and I'm just gonna whisk them together using a fork. That's gonna help to bind the cornflake bread to the outside of the croquette. And in this container, I have a cup of cornflake crumbs. Um, these are a little bit bigger. I didn't smash them all the way, and that's just my preference. If you like them finer, smash them finer. And I'm using just a cookie scoop. You could use your hand if you don't have a scoop. It'll work just the same. It'll just get a little bit messier. And a nice full scoop of the filling. And I'm gonna kinda shape it and see that little pyramid. I'm gonna roll it in the egg mixture and then in the cornflakes. And then just, I'm putting it on a parchment lined cookie. While you're doing this, make sure that your oven is preheating to 350 degrees. Okay. So we're gonna put these in the an oven at 350 and they're gonna bake for about 16 minutes um, and, or until they get a little bit golden brown on top. Um, if you want to give it a little extra boost, you can take some cooking spray and kind of spritz it and it'll give it um, a crispier look. But if you prefer to use less oil, this way is fine. Here we have our finished croquette and a little bit of tartar sauce, and I hope you enjoy them as much as we do.